extracting follicular units with micro punches. What a wonderful idea! Many prominent surgeons have devoted their energy and intelligence to this cause. But the process is not as easy as it seems. Hair is indeed deeply attached to its surrounding tissues. The erector pili muscle, the sebaceous gland, the vessels and the connective tissue. This is called tethering and was described in detail by doctors Rassmann and Bernstein. Also, the follicular unit often grows with a splay in a conical shape and the surgeon needs to reach a certain depth to extract follicular units without damaging them. With sharp punches, he reaches deadlock. The serrated ones are so sharpened that they give the feeling of cutting butter. Trying to go deep enough with a pretty small sharp punch often results in a significant transaction rate and a lower number of hairs per graft. The video clearly draws a comparison between sharp and hybrid trumpet punches. The former cuts the skin and the hair, while the latter strokes them. With the hybrid trumpet punch, hair slides inside it, and the pairing and transaction rates are reduced to their minimum. So how is this possible? Three years ago, I was observing Dr. James Harris and understood that he was on the right track with his hex punch. Skin is the major obstacle, as it's difficult to cut. However, the subcutaneous tissue is soft and requires a simple dissection. I had to find the ideal punch profile that, combined to an oscillatory motion, would provide a very smooth extraction. That's exactly the point of the hybrid trumpet punch and the foot pedal. Let's describe the pedal first. It's designed to reproduce the manual motion while providing more power even at low speed and offering greater accuracy. I came to the conclusion that the best option is a movement with a low rotation speed and a small angulation performed in the shortest time possible. Now let's describe the punch. Its main characteristic is a cutting edge perpendicular to the axis of the punch. The principle is completely different from that of a sharp punch. With the hybrid trumpet punch, the surgeon must apply some pressure so that the skin undergoes a round deformity into which the punch will fit. The sharp 90 degree edge will then cut the skin almost as easily as a sharp punch does. A last sequence shows the phenomenon of buried grafts, so frequent to the robots but only occasional with the hybrid trumpet punch. Thanks to these videos, I found out that a deep penetration combined with a high rotation speed and a pretty wide oscillation results in the torsion of the follicular unit, which, as it is still tied to the subcutaneous vessels, undergoes a violent traction downwards and gets definitively buried. When this happens, you should reduce the speed and depth and possibly use a punch that will be available soon an external serrated hybrid punch with small apertures that will reduce friction between the punch and the follicular unit as much as possible. So what is the point of my invention? My goal is to obtain FUE grafts similar to FUT grafts to reduce both the transaction and pairing rates as well as to reduce all the injuries follicular units can undergo during the extraction. All this for the one and only reason that must guide us reducing the number of missing grafts and increasing the intrinsic quality of the extraction. I hope that thanks to this technique improvement, we'll soon be able to claim results perfectly similar to those obtained with the FUT technique. Here then is the beginning of the fascinating adventure of the hybrid trumpet punch and its future improvements. Other ideas and improvements are already underway such as the adaptation of the slit invented by Dr. Bonaventura and Dr. Erdogan in order to perform FUE extractions on long hair. Thank you for your attention.